Hi everyone! We're going to try to keep our editing tips brief to ensure enough time for you to try out lots of possibilities for your movie. We've given you the clips, the music, and the clip order. Now you can use various transitions, titles, clip tricks, FaceTime footage, and other editing tools to give the movie your own flair. Anything goes, as long as you tell the basic story of the engineering experiences activity, which is, Disasterville was a peaceful town, that is, until it was hit by a tornado. Drones were sent in to assess the damage to the town since the road into Disasterville was blocked. Video was taken of the town from the drone. From the video, a plan must be put into place to help the town. There are two last editing tools you can learn during NGX Editing and Engineering. iMovie easily allows you to do voiceovers or recordings of your own voice. Maybe I want to narrate aloud what the Disasterville activity is all about in my movie. Using the voiceover tool, you're able to narrate all or parts of your video as you speak. To do a voiceover, it helps to use a microphone. We have a few that you can use later if desired. You also have a built-in microphone in your MacBook that you can use, at least to practice. To activate iMovie's voiceover feature, make sure nothing is highlighted in your media browser and then press V as in voiceover. And you'll see these voiceover controls. Another way to start the voiceover is to press the small microphone in the corner of your viewer. So does everyone see them? Raise your hand if not and we'll come around and, and help you. But if I click on the voiceover tools to the right of the record button right here, a dialog box opens and it asks you to import the source of your sound. And you can see I'm using a microphone and I could also choose the built-in microphone. You would choose your built-in microphone. Also, you'll notice this volume slider here. And you can actually set the level of volume that you'd like to record by. 100% will give you some distortion and right in the middle or a little bit over is usually about right. Also, you'll notice that there's a mute button here that you can check or uncheck. I suggest you check it. What it does is it mutes other sounds within your video while you record so that you're not easily distracted. So go ahead and choose to record using your built-in microphone by clicking the red voiceover button. Just like that. Wait for the beeps to end. You'll hear some. Then start recording by saying something like, this is a movie about the peaceful town of Disasterville, or should I say, the once peaceful town. You can use any voiceover narrations in your movie, but practice with this line for now. It will be saved in your media browser and you can add it anywhere in your timeline, but of course it will go best with the beginning clips. Take a listen and see how it sounds. Redo it if it's too loud or too soft. This is a movie about the peaceful town of Disasterville, or should I say, the once peaceful town. The last thing we're going to learn is how to speed up or slow down one of our clips in the timeline. Let's use our clip of the tornado hitting the house for this. Click on it to activate it. There it is. I'm going to turn off the sound for now. Then go up to the menu bar and press modify. Now if you want to slow down your clip, you would press slow motion. And if you want to speed up your clip, you would press fast forward. If you choose fast forward, you have four choices. It can be two times, four times, eight times, or a whopping 20 times faster. That's really fast. So I'm going to actually slow mine down. Let's slow it down 50%. And you'll see that it's about double the length. 
You'll also notice that there's a turtle icon on my clip now, and that's to signify that it's been slowed down. But I'm going to undo that clip. I can also press Z, and let's speed it up also. And let's do that two times, and you'll notice that it's shorter. And there's also a rabbit icon on the clip, and that means it's been sped up. So let's take a look at that. Woo! Really fast. Let's undo it. Okay, there's a couple other things I'd like you to note that if you press on your clip again, you can also access the speed icons here. You, normal, slow, fast, freeze frame, or a custom speed. Another thing you'll notice um, in this speed editor here is that you can reverse a clip as um, we have checked. Now when we play it, it'll play backwards. So it'll start with the tornado and then tear the house apart and put it back together in slow motion. Or you can press preserve pitch. And that's important if you have voices. Basically, it will keep the voices normal. The last thing I want to show you is if you control click on a clip, you can press show speed editor. And at that point, you'll receive a little button on your clip that allows you to manually adjust the speed of the clip. And you can turn that off too by control clicking and then pressing hide speed editor and it will disappear as well as that icon. So there you go. You have a lot of clip tricks to play with to edit your movie just how you'd like. Here's a cheat sheet with all the clip tricks we've discussed up through video 10. Explore, have fun, try all sorts of things. The more things you try and the more practice you do, the better editor you'll become. <laughs>